These are loyalty cards to French supermarkets. I've had these for ages, you can tell by the state they are in. And I, um, well, some time ago, around uh, the end of last year, I linked them to the uh, apps of these stores. Uh, these are French stores, but uh, this card is only valid in Belgium because they also have uh, locations in Belgium. This is a French-only store. And uh, this store, at the end of 2022, put 10 euro on my account. On the uh, There's a barcode at, on the back here that I, obviously I'm not going to show. Uh, yeah, they just put 10 euro in my account, just ran randomly, just like that. Um, this store, when I uh, linked my loyalty card to the app, they started sending me uh, offers to give me money. So basically I hadn't been to France since the summer of 2022 and they, the apps are kind of a, a way for them, a marketing tool to um, to try to lure people back into their stores. So they sent me offers from uh, like, uh, you know, spend 50 euro and you get five euro uh, discount. And then uh, it got better and you got 10 euro discount if you spend 50 euro. But then all of a sudden, after a while, getting uh, all kinds of offers, they sent me an offer. You get a 10 euro discount when you spend 30 euro so that comes down to a little over 33 percent off so i was like oh yeah that'll make me start my car and drive to france so that's what i did in the third week of april 2023 for the first time since the summer of 2022 so definitely had been a while um, and i stumbled upon a uh, promo for Hot Wheels in only one uh, specific location of the Auchan supermarkets or hypermarkets, very huge, big uh, supermarkets. Um, normal price €2.29, uh, they were reduced in the store to €1.72 and then with the um, €10 Euro I got uh, as a discount via the app, uh, it came down to €1.60 each which is uh, pretty cheap. So kind of a mixture of different cases. I just bought the ones I did not have already. So this is the uh, Liberty Walk Sylvia. Uh, they're all 2023 uh, releases, of course. Really nice gold color. There you go, full name on the base. So, of course, we got the snow, snow shovel in the front and then the shopping cart handle in the back. Also has the lens lights front and back. Right hand drive. Cool one. But, you know, kind of old news by now. So we're going to be, go pretty fast over these. Subaru WRX STI in white. So I had the blue version, but not this uh, kind of pearl white one cool casting nice hatchback get the details front and side nothing in the rear unfortunately nice gold rims tesla model y in this dark gray hmm. that's an interesting looking base so we got the little uh, spoiler there on the Hot Wheels versions. Giga Texas on the license plate. Fortunately, it has a little scratch on the window piece there. Too bad. Oh well. 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. Great green accents. We got three of, uh, of these in green already. So good to see uh, 
something else than green for a change. Twenty twenty three Nissan Z or Z. Missed out on the blue version, but was very pleased to uh, find the red one. Gray rims, plastic roof piece, details front and rear. This middle section here is plastic, but is painted red. So that's a nice touch. I guess Nissan wanted them to do that because I cannot imagine Hot Wheels doing that by themselves. 1989 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S. Nice green color, gold rims. I've got some details there, tempo-wise in the front. And the rear is nicely done too. Another one with gold rims. 1988 Jeep Wagoneer. It's got the black base and then the gray, kind of primer gray body with a gloss black part here and there. Just side deco and top deco. And then it's recolor, kind of re reverse colors, but not really. It does have the gray base instead of the black. And then we got flat black and gloss black on the body. Sadie's Benz Unimog 1300. So a nice addition to the Unimar collection. Not a fan of the amber windows, but other than that, it's definitely a cool one. Rimach Nevera. Finally, I have this one. Nice blue base. Probably had to do that because there's a, well, there's a lot of plastic on this model. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, we're skimping on the metal here. Detail wise or tempo wise, it's okay. Still a cool one to have. Pagani's on the R in white. Pirelli advertising there. Pagani name on the wing. Got these little uh, gills here on top. But uh, part of the window piece, a little bit translucent. Cool. Renault Sport RS01. Cool model. I like the Renault embossed in the spoiler there. Yeah. The 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage, also known as the Midas Monkey. This was a uh, super treasure hunt also. Not this one, obviously. It's got a brown base. Chrome interior piece that makes for the bumpers, the engine. Uh, no clear coat on this. The original was uh, kind of a yeah, gloss gold. Original release, I mean. First release, Fiat 500e. 
Okay, so they want us to think that this is actually the uh, electric version, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the electric version has kind of the, the headlights partially covered by the, the hood upon it. So it's not really a round headlight on the electric ones. Um, so this is just pretty much the same as the previous Fiat 500 casting. You can tell it's got the 2018 copyright, so uh, clearly not new, but the 500E is just uh, is a new model that's just been released to like, I don't know, last year or maybe this year. So they're kind of cheating us with this one. They did change it to the change the base to, to add the E behind the 500, but that's pretty much all. They did. The rest of it is, as far as I know, still the same. It's 1964 Nova Wagon Gasser. Purple, it's got the purple windows, chrome interior piece, makes for the front end. The bumper in the back. Wild one. Very nice 1988 Honda CRX in gray without the clear coat. It's got the um, colors of the German and Belgian flag on the side on the rocker panel. But uh, yeah, not sure why that is. Red interior. Nice one. Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Nice green metal flake. Just details front and back. Perfect. Doesn't need any more. S on the license plate. And the 1989 Mercedes Benz 560 SEC AMG. Again, we got that uh, round style base. So, this is a new casting. For 2023. 2023. I like the rims. I like the model. Just doesn't excite me excite me very much because it's black. I like that the um, sunroof is kind of tilted upwards. That is cool. Tempo works very nicely done in the back. Yeah, definitely looking uh, forward to some actual colors of this. Of course, it looks very gangster like this, but you know, it's kind of boring too. And then at uh, Smith's Superstores, Smith's is a uh, Irish uh, store, uh, toy store that has um, lots of locations on the uh, continent, on continental Europe too. Uh, they bought um, former. Toys R Us stores and uh, Pickwick uh, in, uh, in France and, um, you know, some, some stores in the Netherlands and stuff. So they've been expanding a lot in Europe and uh, that's a good thing because uh, they have a very good pricing policy. Uh, overall, the Mattel stuff is a little bit uh, expensive, but... Um, the majorettes are still at the two euro and ninety nine cents that they were before the um, crazy inflation started, and uh, I commend them for that. So I found a few twenty twenty two releases that I did not have yet: the uh, Lamborghini Urus in the flat black. This um, was a new hue of this model for twenty twenty two.
this was a new model in 2022 at least for the premium cars the nissan Sephiro a31 gloss black and then this was a new color in 2021 for the dodge challenger srt demon very similar to the racing cars version but uh, the racing cars version has some uh, kind of flames on the side extra so kind of confusing but uh, yeah uh, finally have this version too and I found some 2023 ones also the Mitsubishi ASX uh, ASX uh, it's been a while since they released this one uh, nice little flag green Uh, so this is a, a recolor. Um, this is also a recolor. Peugeot 508 station wagon. Nice red. Um, the uh, Volvo V90 also comes in red in uh, 2023. And uh, you know, for some people they are hard to uh, keep apart. But... Uh, Peugeot has the uh, correct opening part, the uh, lift gate that opens up. The Volvo, unfortunately, has the doors that open up. And another recolor for 2023, this uh, Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 in silver. I was very pleased to find this one. Because, um, you know, I was not expecting to find this. I thought these... Uh, yeah. Yeah. These would all have been gobbled up, but, you know, um, Japanese cars are just not that popular as uh, European cars here in the Europe, which makes sense, right? But, uh, you know, if you look at the United States, how popular uh, Japanese cars are over there, definitely in the collector market, that is uh, yeah, pretty insane. We don't have that here, not to that uh, extent, at least. Sure, my buddy uh, JK will disagree because he only collects the uh, Japanese ones. And also found a, a new vintage release for 2023, the uh, Dacia 1300. And this uh, was based on a Renault model. Um, going to open up this one because I don't do separate videos for the vintage ones, but the premium ones I do separate videos when I have all of them. So, uh, yeah. You'll have to wait till then to see me open them up. So this Dacia was based on an old uh, Renault that they kind of bought the uh, licensing for, or at least the, uh, I don't know, the um, technical build sheet. So yeah, typical tiny engined European sedan underpowered so new casting they also have a gift pack for this that is also it's only available in Romania but you know maybe I will be able to find it on Amazon or something suspension of course lens headlights I like that the indicators on this one are orange uh, they kind of part of the the metal uh, body I guess and uh, the lens light is just put in front of the metal part and that way you've got orange indicators uh, I wonder if the um, the other colors like the blue one we have blue indicators then or not or if they will paint it over that uh, yeah I wonder about that that's your logo there in the middle with some uh, grills underneath there uh, gray separate pieces for the bumper We've got uh, some vents here on the back too on the c pillar it's got the model name and the car make on the boot or trunk and some red paint for the tail lights Oh yeah, and the indicators are done too, of course, here in the front. And the silver next to it is 
possibly for a kind of a daytime running light before they existed. Of course, we get a nice interior, proper steering wheel and all the good stuff we are known to expect from Majorette. Then the uh, Carrefour hypermarkets in my area had a spring sale. Uh, you got 15 euro discount for every 50 euro worth of toys uh, you bought. So that comes come down comes down to 30% uh, off. So of course I jumped into my car and I drove to uh, three different. Carrefour hypermarket locations, uh, two in my uh, city, and then one a little bit further away, away like, uh, you know, um, I'd say half an hour driving, but it's not that far. It's half an hour back and forth, so that's okay. Uh, I picked up the um, 70 Years Special Edition Orange set, uh, 4 dollars um, it's a little bit less than 30% off because I spent a little bit more than 50 euro. Um, so it's like 29.5% off, you know, doesn't matter. Um, moving parts, usually I only want to spend uh, a maximum of 3 euro, but because these are full deco, I was willing to spend that the 50 cents extra for these. Um, number one of five, Porsche 911 Turbo. Got the 1980 Porsche 911 Turbo. It's got it written and handwritten on the back too. A little bit smudgy on the roof there. That's unfortunate. I saw a few that were pretty light on the paint too. So uh, yeah, for the money they're asking for these, they definitely should be a little bit better uh, quality. Nice rims, got the orange lip, got the Porsche on the rocker panel. Some advertising for uh, some uh, automotive uh, suppliers. Nicely done taillights, turbo on there. Uh, the um, the uh, whale tail here is plastic and uh, yeah. Um, I would have preferred it to be metal, but you know, that's how they are. Doors open far and wide. Got the uh, 70th logo also on the right side, but not on the left side, you see. That's interesting. Got the uh, headlights with the uh, tape on there for in case uh, you crash and doesn't get uh, glass doesn't get end up on the racetrack. And the 70th logo on the uh, frunk. And even the fog light lights down there are uh, tempo so yeah yeah that's a good enough value for money for me and we get a proper steering wheel that is also a plus and uh, I like that a lot wish they would do that on all the moving parts vehicles because you know when you open the door you want to see a proper steering wheel right at least I do Number two of five, 2020 Chevy Corvette. So nothing in the front here, tempo wise. I do get the top tempo for the lights in the Corvette logo. On the side, we get the uh, 70th logo here which is also on this side, so both sides on this one. Anniversary on the license plate, that's cool. And we get a detailed engine, that is awesome. See that majorette, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's definitely sweet. And if you look through the glass there, you can see the details, cool. Apart from the this front part here not being tempoed, uh, yeah, I guess we get uh, 
that paint under here except for the front there you know kind of as a trade-off still 2022 Hummer EV great center part for the base and then there's a um, a black plastic part that might be part of the interior also makes for these uh, running boards they all have the orange lip on the rims that's cool here we get uh, we do get the tempo in the front of the bumper there got the front that opens up you can actually put something in there got something here from uh, from green light but it won't close but you know if it's smaller you can uh, actually put something in there completely plastic uh, roof and part of the bed of course 70 logo on both sides it doesn't say hummer here it does say hummer here is that a uh, a tempo error I wonder so if you have one of these let me know well at least if you open them up you will know also says Hummer on the tailgate and GMC in the corner there tail lights wrap around so that's cool yeah good one again a little bit of light on the orange uh, some places but you know 2021 Mazda MX so as you are well aware of there's a variation on this I did not bother buying both of them I have the mainline release with the other stuff in the in the back so that's good enough for me here it does say 2021 Mazda MX 30 I thought I was missing something in the name Soviet logo on here and on here so both sides, uh, front deco, we even got uh, what seems to be parking sensors detailed there in the front. Um, it's got a gray base and also a gray interior that makes for these uh, rocker panels and uh, wheel arches and bottom of the bumpers. So yeah, a lot of plastic on this one, but we do get a plastic hatch in the back. Uh, sorry, a metal hatch in the back instead of a plastic one uh, like on the Range Rover that's cool here we got the dog in the back instead of the luggage so that's the uh, interior variation so the dog is laying down sleeping looks kind of weird but anyway would have been nicer if it was sitting up but that you know would be harder to uh, mold I guess I like the uh, the back doors on this, so it opens up like a uh, on the Mazda RX-8, for example. That's uh, kind of cool. I sat in one of these at the uh, Brussels Motor Show. It's you know an SUV thing, so it's not my uh, cup of, of tea, but uh, I like it at least. Uh, try to make it a little bit exciting with those doors. And then of course, uh, well, pretty much my favorite, even though the Porsche uh, is kind of close second, but you know, because of the plastic spoiler, I, uh, I don't call it my favorite. Uh, 2019 Ram Ambulance, the uh, metal heavyweight of this set. Well, of every set, basically every set this is in this uh, is the heavy weight champion gray base um, this uh, front end is plastic uh, part of the interior I guess it's nicely tempoed got the lights got the uh, emergency uh, flashing lights there 70 70th logo on the doors on both sides emergency services ambulance 70 
So we got an all metal body, except for the front end here. And we got uh, metal doors. I believe. Or are they? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think they're metal. Uh, and it's got an interior, of course. Otherwise, the moving part would not make, make much sense. So, got the stretcher in there. Some seats, I guess. Yeah. Nicely tampoed in the back, different colors for the tail lights. Love it. That's a great one. Also got some 2022 five packs. I missed out on the Autobahn Express 3. It's got the Mercedes Benz Unimark U300. It's got the return of the 2002 Opel Speedster. That's very cool. Uh, now they've got the Opel license back with the uh, Opel Cadet. They uh, yeah, definitely can uh, release this one again. Volkswagen GTI, BMW M5 Police, and the Porsche, whatchamacallit, doesn't say on the box, but of course it's the Panamera. Coffee Cruisers 3 with uh, that thing. Ford 35 pickup, hot rod style thing. Corvette T-top, uh, that's pretty cool. 75 Chevy Caprice, nice blue. And then we got the 64 Austin Mini Cooper in white with the black roof. MBX service with the, uh, excuse me. Uh, these two are uh, flipped around because the bottom one is the 2014 for Transit News Fan, and then the one above is the 2015 Ram 1500. You see, they did the switcheroo on these plastic body on this one, metal base. That's a cool police pickup truck. 2016 Interceptor Utility. Oh, geez, that's the one on the top. So they completely uh, messed this up. International Workstar Ambulance. This one, and then the 2010 Ford Animal Control Truck is this one. Well, how did they do that? They just completely switched these all around. Mm, interesting, a lot of plastic body ones. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, disappointing. At least there's some other good stuff to compensate for that. And also got a bunch of um, nine packs i'll start with the 2022 ones and then we get to the 2023 ones um so there's the numbers for you uh cracked blister front there but i don't care they're going to get opened up anyway these stores would have a hard time selling this to people who buy this uh, as a gift for a kid and yes, uh, that is the uh, astronomous price they are asking for these in the stores that have them as their uh, regular assortment. Same with the five packs, you know, almost 11 euro. That's just disgusting. But that's the the, the way and uh, that's the price in, in or even more in all the stores that have these in their permanent assortment. It's only the stores that have these, the discount stores that have these only, uh, you know, one batch that can uh, sell them for cheaper. So obviously I'm only buying these when uh, there's a sale. A few Matchbox Originals, uh, the Hailcat. The Rescue Helicopter. So the... Uh, these are a mixture of five-pack vehicles and mainline vehicles um, that are in here. Tilt and tip does this. Oh yes, tilts to one side. 
It's got a metal base. Look at that. Well, partially metal base. We'll see that very often anymore. But it's very generic looking, of course. The uh, Ridge Raider. Also a Matchbox Original. And then we get to the good stuff. The licensed stuff, that is. Subaru Impreza WRX 2007. And the MBX Metro Police Department livery. Blue window piece for the blue uh, light bar on top. Perfect. A very underused casting, the Infinity G37 Coupe. Uh, only in blue and in gray, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Uh, when are they going to release more versions or more colors of this one? I am waiting. Nineteen ninety four Lexus LS four hundred, pretty recent casting. Bottom part is plastic, but it's a nice one. There's a lot of Japanese vehicles in here. There's four of them. Nineteen seventy six Honda CVCC, the first Civic. Dreams on the license plate. What a cutie. And then the 9-pack exclusive is the 1956 Austin Martin DBR1. Uh, great casting. Get some silver for the headlights. The Austin Martin logo. And some uh, red dots for the taillights. Plus the logo again in the back. Definitely a beautiful casting. And another 2022 9-pack. Another helicopter in here. Rescue helicopter again. Let's see. The rest of them are licensed. We got the 2016 Ram flatbed. So yellow metal cab everything else is plastic we got the 1966 dodge a100 pickup the retooled version there used to be a window back here but uh, that is not there anymore there might be some other changes but uh, i don't know them from the top of my head golf livery truck support dodge embossed in the front there it is a cool pickup. I like these vans that have been uh, uh, transformed into a pickup. I like those better than actual pickup trucks. 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Nice blue details front and rear. Well, I show you the opposite side. Way to go. Pontiac Firebird Formula 1971. My favorite muscle car by Matchbox. Not a huge muscle car fan, but this is absolutely my favorite muscle car that Matchbox does. Got details in the front and in the rear. Formula One on the license plate. Chrome interior makes for the chrome bumper in the back, no bumper in the front. The 1934 Chevy Master Coupe. Uh, gray plastic centerpiece. Black plastic interior that also makes for the uh, uh, wheel arches and running boards and spare tire in the back. Very nicely tampoed front, but no tampos anywhere else. The Ford Police Interceptor in the uh, Skybusters police livery. Blue window piece, makes for a blue light bar. Excellent. Subaru 
So three Japanese cars in the, this one, if I'm not mistaken. Or were there only two? I forget. No, only one. Sorry. That was the previous one. I'm looking at the wrong cars. Uh, only one Japanese one in this one. The 2017 Honda Civic in white, gray interior. Honda on the license plate. And then the exclusive. The 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 or Generation 2 Safari. So no interior on this because you get a removable piece on top like that. Came in two variations. I call this the, um, the light bar roof piece. And thanks to my buddy Tyrone of building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection, I have the uh, what I call the luggage only roof part version so i have both of them the red valley camp livery sweet i usually don't get all the variations of uh, the stuff that uh, matchbox does but with these land rovers i tend to try to get them both for some reason not sure why uh, let's keep this one to the last because it's kind of a special 2023 edition of the nine packs um, 2023 nine packs they have the 70th logo on them this one has a lot of euro cars in it five of them and then three american no four american sorry so yeah and it's not the only one that has a lot of euro cars in it so Seems like in 2023 they are going going Euro style, so no uh, Matchbox originals in this. That is cool. 1933 Ford Coupe, hot rod, a sweet Volkswagen Golf 5 GTI that is also in the uh, five pack I just bought. See, that's the same version. The uh, 2016 Ram flatbed that we saw in yellow, now in, uh, I think it's gray or silver. It's not Zamac. Yeah, like the uh, skull livery, they've done that on a few vehicles. The 2019 Audi TT RS, which has been, uh, yeah, all over the place. Two thousand eleven Mini Cooper Countryman, nice blue Cooper S on the license plate. Here we got that Opel Speedster that is also in the uh, Autobahn Express three five pack. Seems to have a retooled base, yeah. 2022 date on there originally 20 years old but retooled i don't know if there's a, a lot of differences or it's just the base that's been retooled I'm not sure yeah tesla model x See through roof piece. So got the extra seats in the back there. Zero emissions on the license plate. And this thing is also in here. So you don't need that. And the BMW M5 police, the exclusive. Uh, police captain be safe on the road also has the 70th logo um, does look like a licensed livery but uh, it's a cool one nonetheless I like this casting a lot the only thing it's missing is the blue window piece 
they don't tend to do that on this casting. I don't think uh, BMW likes it for some reason. Yeah, they're way too serious about things, those Germans. Then let's get to this one. Designed for a lifetime. Imagine that. Definitely got some more glue on these. Uh, they're kind of a pain to open. So at least we got something more. Glue. Again, we got that helicopter in here. Rescue helicopter, seen that already. Uh, other than that, it's all licensed stuff. Let's see. 1957 GMC Stepside. Gloss white. Parts delivery, Truck Hero. That's an existing company for truck parts. GMC in Boston, the tailgate. Here we got the Fiat 500 Turbo 2019 model. So not a fake uh, 500E like we saw from Hot Wheels. So uh, I guess this would be in a bath in Europe. That's called Turbo in the US. Would I be correct in assuming that? Not sure. Baja Bug, Beetle 4x4, headlights, side echo, and taillights. Look at that. Four tempo sides on this one. Crazy. 1971 MGB GT Coupe. VW Golf Mark V GTI, primer gray, T Dog on the license plate. Retool casting to have a metal post in the back instead of a plastic. This would be a roof piece, metal um, plastic post, roof piece, a window piece. Sorry, I'm getting tired, need some drink. So, you read the name on the base already. Thank you. So I don't have to. Details, front and rear. Nice one. Cool casting. Another hot rod. The 1932 Ford Coupe Model B. Four window coupe. Mm. Should be a window in the back, I guess. Making it a five window coupe. Anyway. And then the exclusive. Very shiny base. Wow, look at that. Ford Bronco 4x4 from 1972. That is shiny. Still has the supposed scale on there, which is of course not accurate. So this has not been retooled, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, it's very shiny. Shiny plastic. So, front end is part of the shiny plastic base. Kind of a gunmetal gray metal body. Bush wrecker. Bush wrecker. Whack wrecker. Licensing. Also, uh, truck parts, I guess. 70th logo. Five pack exclusive. It says it right next to it. Huh. That's cool. Can't be mistaken. Ford in Boston tailgate. Soft top is up. It's got a disc against the dashboard. Eh, it's kind of okay. For a steering wheel. Not as bad as some other solutions. And then this uh, kind of uh, more exclusive packaging because it's got some white going on where the other ones have orange. Not sure why. Uh, it says 
France on here, and Germany, Australia, Japan, what's this? Brazil here, Australia again, this is France again, what's this? Starts with an M and ends with an O. Is that Monaco? Is that America? That looks like America, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, some uh, world traveling theme going on here, I guess. Not sure. All licensed vehicles in here again. That is cool. Albeit they are all re-releases of uh, mainline and five-pack vehicles, just like the other nine packs. 2019 Mazda 3, Gunmetal Gray. Twenty twenty one Ford Bronco, yeah, seen that already a few times. The twenty twenty two Renault Megane electric or EV Renault on the license plate front and back. Some gold in the bumper there. Nice touch. A lot of Euro cars in here again, and a lot of EVs. Volkswagen Electric Vehicle 4, meaning the ID4. I like the, uh, the roof part here. That is all plastic, but uh, it's non see through. It's textured somehow. Nice technique. They're able to use two Teslas in here the Y in red, metal, like, metal flake red. Zero emissions on the license plate. And then the X in blue. Interesting to have them both here. So they're both uh, SUVs by Tesla. The um, X being the bigger model than the Y. But uh, when it comes to the models, you know what? The Y is bigger than the X. Jeez, that's no bueno. So this gets an extra row of seats, the X, just like the real vehicle. This one only is a five-seater and should be smaller, but it's wider and longer. No bueno. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Then we get the uh, oh, very old casting because it's got a reverse base 2011, never retooled. The Jeep Wrangler Super Lift again with the wrong scale on there 162. Well, I assume it's the wrong scale because usually they were not accurate. Flat white or matte white in the uh, Matchbox Adventures livery, uh, same as the uh, exclusive vehicle in here. So we keep that in the front here. 2020 Land Rover Defender, the new Defender, a lot of plastic on this one too. And then the exclusive vehicle, which is the uh, MBX field car, kind of a reiteration of the original field car. Um, yeah, not really a model I collect, but I will keep this one because it's a special release. So. Basically the same uh, deco livery as the Jeep. Number two. The other one does not have numbers, so I don't know if we're going to get a whole bunch of these and these liveries. Not sure. Thanks for watching.